I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The reason I call it that is because every time you make a decision in the Charleston, it impacts the next. This exercise is a great way to test your instincts because sometimes you can do multiple things with the same dealt tiles. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise, and we're going to do two iterations. For the first one, we're going to identify the strength of the hand, and then we're going to do it again with a plan B. I'm also going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a joker, a pair of flowers, a green dragon, north and south with a pair of souths. We have one, two, seven, eight in dots with a pair of ones. We have a one bam and a nine crack. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would say plan A would be consecutive run with one and two, leveraging that pair of ones. But we also have potential for like numbers. There is a pair of souths here, but number tiles are far more flexible and efficient. With wins, you really are limiting your options. So I would want more options with this few of tiles. So I would break those up. So let's take a photo so we can recreate this for the next iteration. And we'll focus on one, two. Whatever we do, we're gonna use these flowers. We may or may not be able to use the dragon. If we get a one crack, we could maybe the next go round, see about playing the like number hand. So I think I would break up that and then maybe pass those three. So let's pass these three. And I'm gonna take a photo of this. Our focus is consecutive run. So I would keep the three the four with flowers is not going to work with a one, so that can go. I think I would pass the other south to a different player. Maybe let the nine go with a four dot. We'll take a photo of that. We do have a one that is consecutive, one, two, three. There is that like number potential in there. We have tiles we can pass, so let's let these go. We'll take a photo there. We have one, two, three, one dot. We do have some potential for little odds now in mixed suits. And here we have north four four. One two three or one three five. I really didn't think about one three five before until we got that five bam. Let's pass these three. We'll take a photo. Maybe pass these three. And we'll take a photo there. 
we have a one dot and a two crack. That is consecutive, one, two, three. So to focus on the category, consecutive run, one, two, three with flowers, one, two, three of some kind, this would be pretty risky to pass. One, two, six flowers. If we get the two bam, we could maybe use the three crack. If we get a three bam, we can use that two crack. We could also maybe do one, two, three if we get a three dot, but that would be a big gap. I think even if we break that up, it would have a nominal effect because even if we pass five, six, that's going to be risky. Let's say we maybe let the one bam go. Five, six would be risky because there are two consecutive numbers. At least they're in two suits. Same thing with six, seven and the one. And even if we did that, that would be risky too. So no matter how we slice this, it's going to be risky. Since five, seven with a six in a different suit for this pass like that, I think I would let that go. Let's take a photo. We have a nine crack, five bam, white dragon. I try not to pass white dragons. Let's let the nine crack go. Let's let the five bam go. If we're playing one, two, one, two, maybe one, two, three, this might be better than passing a white dragon. We got a dragon back and a five, but one up to five, I suppose we could do one, three, five as a plan B. So really what we have here is one, two, three potential with four discards. So we could do maybe one, two with six flowers. We could maybe do one, two, three if we get a three. If we get a two bam, we could do one dot two bam three crack. Or if we get a three bam, we could maybe use that too. The only thing we didn't use here is this one crack. So I'd say probably five discards. So that was a rough Charleston. Consecutive run looked like a good potential leveraging the multiple, but let's reset and look at like number potential and see what happens. This is what we started with. If we do like numbers, we're gonna keep the ones. We'll let those go. We'll focus on like numbers with flowers. So let's, let's break up the south. Maybe pass the two and the nine. Let's see how that goes. We have a three, nine, four. Let's send the south to a different player. Maybe we could pass seven, four. We have a one, that's a like number. And then let's pass, how about seven, eight west? Fours. Let's pass a north the nine and a four, three, four, five left over. Red dragon, I would keep it for like numbers. 
here we could do seven, four, three. It's a little risky there, but there's risk in every pass. One. Here we do have a two and tiles to pass. We could maybe do two, seven, five. White dragon, three discards. I would pass those for optional. North, eight, five. Okay, like numbers with ones. We could do ones with the red dragon and the one bam. Or we could do ones with the green dragon and the one crack. So we have four discards and options. I think like numbers was a little better than consecutive run, but consecutive run has much more flexibility. This though is a hand with no gaps with options. I think that's probably what I would do. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below the video. If you find that you second guess yourself, try this exercise at home. If you have four discards or less after the Charleston, I'd say you made the right choices and the right decisions at the right time. You've optimized your potential to complete that hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.